the uh, tank. Oh, okay. Managed and. <laughs> Moi je te dis je vais courir partout comme un nest de rats Correct, pas de panda pis tous ils vont droner le shader of the human Alright, let's go Tu vas rater Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready for the game! Je comprends pas l'anglais Alright, have fun guys? I push the fan 2 Je comprends pas l'anglais That's... They said something about my English Yeah, they said I don't understand English It's okay, I don't understand French um, uh, okay. But yeah, should maybe work. update the caster's command as well, because Marifix is not your name. Uh, yeah, the bot just said myself and Marifix. Uh. Oh, I am not Marifix. So, going into the map bands while you do that, um, we're going to see Mav. Again, not surprising on this map. Um, super powerful operator, gets rid of all those soft walls, and even the hard walls. Um, and makes it uh, oh, so, super yeah. easy for them to push in. So him gone, not too worried. Capital, uh, another very important operator to have banned on this map. Uh, just allows a lot more access, a lot less worrying about those uh, uh, crossbow bolts, uh, interior bolts blocking off any sort of uh, rotation or sight lines with the smoke bolt. However, uh, Thatcher is gonna be there by extension. Yes, Thatcher is going to be there, so it's going to be a little bit easier for them to push in. A little bit less reliant on Kali, which we saw last time did not work as well. Uh, Maestro being ripped off as well, uh, ripped out of the rotation. So, that's the Alda gone. That's the main reason why you're banning Maestro is the Alda. Uh, it's just a super powerful operator. Is evil eyes not really that that important? And Echo, again, not, not surprised with the Echo. The only surprising one out of that entire thing would be Capitao. Um, just because out of it's the most uncommon, but yeah. it's not. But it's not a surprising pick. No, no, no. You know absolutely why he, he's there because you know those fire bolts can be really detrimental to a bandit tracing operation, and we're not gonna have a um. What's his name? That's your band. No, the 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 new operator. Um, Kelly. What am I? What am I? I have. What am I and Kelly? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm brain dead tonight. Yeah, but with one light being present, you know, now you do have a proper counter to Capital, making him so much less overpowered than he was previously, you know? So, I don't know if it's the best choice ever. Two months ago, I would have been hands down absolutely uh, in agreement with that choice. But now I'm no longer as Attack sure as I would have been previously. As if I was to be, like, totally frank with you. Uh, we get first rounded. Yeah, so the first defense here is gonna be uh, is gonna be church. Yes, so it will be church. Um, pretty standard for starting off. A lot of teams are comfortable starting down here. Although I believe the first round is gonna be knives only. If the if the guys want to do it, like I'm not gonna force anything along those lines on them. You know, we're here to see who's the best. And if beating out your opponents, you know, it's not a knife only game. If the guys want to do it, sure, go ahead, go for it. I would be down, you know, to see this kind of troll going on. It would be fun to see, but I don't know with with they're going to want to do it with how competitive everything is. Although everybody yeah. is going upstairs. We do have a couple of people, but it doesn't look like uh, everybody's rushing to go in. So yeah, it looks like we're going to have a pretty standard round here. Um, I'm truly curious if they're actually going to go for the fight, knife only fight, though. They could do a knife only fight, but just they could. Pre present it like a normal round, but I highly doubt they're going to do that. Um, as we can see here, though, they will be starting to take control of Tunnel. Um, IQ is going to be a, kind of just watching the flank. And right now, now that's what we're just going to push Now, I will know that I have done this many times. When you bust open that wall, you shoot it open. The meat in the back shuts off or sheds off blood. Uh, sheds off blood of uh, like a person. Oh, you mean in the freezer? Yeah, in the freezer. So I've done that many times where I thought somebody was there because I saw a bunch of blood. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, so... It always I mean, gets me. At this level of play, I don't think they're going to be, uh, you know, baited out by such an easy or a, a trivial feature. But still, it's it's nice to know that they have to keep an eye out for it and that there's going to be, you know, a, an extra level or layer of complexity, which might enlarge the skill gap and thus make sure that the round is not won by chance. With that being said, it's incredibly trivial and Hyper is going to draw first blood, so, you know, basically let's kind of jump back into the action. 
Yep, so that is resolved off the board though. So that's your dock gun. You have no way of getting any any health back. And <laughs> Kaid gets stuck over in a hallway, so he gets dispatched pretty quick. But Twist takes out Hawks, so uh, easy on him. But next time you're able to get out hips, and just like that, Firemeister gets out Panda. So it's just some quick quick frags going on. Three v one. It's just down to Quirks and Nexty. Uh, they can get taken out as well. So it's just down to the LO right now. Firemeister further takes out Quirks uh, He's gonna look for the second frag. Able to find the Zofia, not able to land shots though. Zofia unable to land hers either. And just like that, they're gonna slowly push up. Ella doing a little bit of flank. Able to hit her shots down to a 1v1. Firemeister's going off, playing like a rankster, as he said. Diffuser is going <laughs> off though. He is gonna be uh, probably caught oh, no. up by this breaching charge. Goes off. He sees the head. He, he sees the head, not able to hit it though. That recoil is, is being uh, working against him, not able to find it. Not able to find the head of twist and twist is able to finish him off but by the skin of their teeth they managed to get the first round what a way to start you would not expect the dirt tunnel rush to actually work because it's such an amazingly stupid thing to do because it's really easy to shift down you now you, you have about two square meters of area to cover being that one doorway and you can prevent the entire team of unlearning to the objective. It just so happened, however, that this specific time, nobody was watching, said two square meters at the doorway. And as such, the fuser got planted. And once you were at this point, Firemeister, he almost got planted. And he got the two kills. But the verticality coming off of Twist was just too much to ask for. Yes. So, again, they pushed in Ella. Again, Firemeister just able to... Use Ella to his advantage. That that forty round magazine is coming in so handy. Uh, but they will be going back downstairs, uh, retrying it. It was a very close round, so there's no reason not to try it again. Uh, with a few tweaks here and there. So as you can see here, the resolve is going to get rid of the dock substitute for a rook. Um, therefore, his ab or his uh, ability is just passive. He's pushed down the plates. Everybody gets him. His job is done. At that point, he's just a chunky roamer or a chunky anchor doing his job. Um, chunky, I like that. As well as, uh, again, we have the Jaeger, we have a Legion, we have Ella, and we have Smoke. So, only difference to the whole thing is resolved. And that minor tweak might be the difference of what made that last round a win or a loss. Yeah, because it was just like, by, you know, sheer luck, the one angle wasn't being covered when, it, when the time came. And having Resolve probably sitting on the objective might, as you said, make a difference. However, he seems to be pretty mobile for a Rook. Yeah, Firemeister though, again, being very aggressive, not able to hit any of his shots, tried using the pistol to his advantage, loses almost all of his health, has about seven health left. Uh, no, probably, actually, sorry, clo probably closer to 10, I would say. Um, 10 health, and uh, again, now there's no dock, so he can't get healed back up. But as I would like to see, like as last time, as I mentioned, we see Nook making her way on here. Uh, I actually yeah. didn't even notice that, so uh, Quartis is uh, going to be rocking the Nook. Again, now that she has frag grenade, she's a very different operator and can be played very aggressively. Absolutely. For the time being, however, it absolutely does not look... Come on. Out of everybody that should see the, the <laughs> humans, Hyper should not be setting foot on them. Uh, you know, we're really not looking at a unilateral push coming off of the Panda team. Uh, we tried pushing up main stairs, that didn't work too much. You do see some pressure coming off of the uh, kitchen area, and that might even get the kill, but the defender underneath is not going to be laying static there for long enough for that uh, bridging charge to actually work. Plus, you do have, or had at the very least, somebody pushing up their tunnel, that's going to be lackey. So, the defenders will have to uh, keep an eye out for basically every possible opening with Quirks, especially going to kill Nitro. He's now opening up another uh, front line. And all in all, this is bound to be stretching. We get first rounded pretty thin, even though we're still at an, at an equilibrium, looking at the number of operators still alive on either teams. Yes, and it does look like about the, the health pool for each of them is about the same. Uh, but as I say that though, Nook winning that engagement against the Rook. So that is an incredibly good pick on her part, but at the same time, they lose Zofia of Lackey. And right now, the tunnel is still being kind of uh it's still getting pushed but not super aggressively and nook gets her uh leg taken by a goo mine so they know where she is she's going to rotate around and with 42 seconds left uh the defensive side does seem to have kind of the upper hand that does look like they're trying to stall a little bit and they uh, they're not too sure of exactly where they want to push 
Yeah, there's no easy way for the attackers to set foot on the objective that long plant the diffuser now. So it looks like we're going to be rotating towards Memorial. However, I absolutely do expect for him actually to be right here. He is sitting right at the corner next to washing his back. That kind of implies though that we have little to no control over armory itself. That doesn't matter. He gets the first kill. will be refragged immediately. Panel only has the diffuser, but with 10 seconds remaining, he can't really afford to rotate. And that goo mine might be the end of him. Like, he gets the kill, but won't have time to take the goo out of his foot. Twist now has to get the kill. One second. Goes for the wall bank. That does not work. We get first round of winning round two. Woo. Got a little test at the end. Again, they paused. They stalled out. They weren't too sure where to push and what to do next. And everybody was just kind of doing their own thing. The last 30 seconds, that call must have gone out saying, okay, no, we're pushing this way now. And and that it almost little... Worked. It almost worked. But I feel like if they did that a little sooner, rather than stalling out, trying to feel out where everybody's at, yeah. they, they had an yeah. idea. They just, unfortunately, waited a little too long. You know, at the end of the day, almost is not enough. No matter how almost. you get there, as long as you get the round, it's all that matters. Mm -hmm. left. Almost is almost never enough. So, uh, I've never heard that expression bomb. before, and I kind of like it. Looking at it now, uh, third round, obviously, the defense at the bottom uh, staircase, or the bottom of the staircase, bottom floor, worked out. We are going to be forced out of the church area, and with no surprise, we are going to be seeing a CCTV and classroom defense. Now, I will say, though, I like the way the composition isn't really changing too much. Granted, now we have a... a, a, a Bandit, but Bandit is supposed to be on the site anyways. And Resolve is going back to the dock roll. So he's he's staying with the ACOG. He's in charge of the longer angles as the, as the beefier operators. Um, but his role, depending on what he's trying to do, he's just swapping between the two. So I like how he's, he's changing it up, but he's not really changing it up too drastically. Yeah, small variation within the same style, basically. Exactly. But looking at uh, the attack, again, not uh, uh, not too surprised of these picks. We have uh, Hypers back on the IQ. Hopefully he doesn't get tagged by any lesions again. Uh, he's able to at least find some of them. Uh, but we have Lackey on Zofia, Twist on Thatcher, as well as Quartz on Habana. So it'll be imperative to keep the Habana alive uh, after the main wall is open. Uh, you can see already here the ex Cairo spouts going out. Getting ready to yep. open up a couple uh, couple walls. It looks like they're trying to open the walls into garage. So trying to take control of that so they can they can push in through CCTV. And that CCTV might end up being pushed. However, as long as Rizal is here, he's probably going to have a nifty uh, cross angle on his left side through that window to prevent uh, the insertion from the attackers. Even should kind of only be able to open up that wall, which will work. Lackey with the impact made. Wow. And was getting a sex, uh, subsequent frag. Hawks is now really low. Rizal is down. Will be revived by, well, himself. He's a dog. Uh, but still, the health pool is heavily favoring Panda. And looking at, you know, the strategic positionings, it looks like the uh, defenders have very little actual control on the objectives. So, you know, Resolve, at the very most, oh. can, you know, look to his left. That's not going to work. Obviously, he was basically done for. Hawks is, uh, from Master, okay, he's back from roaming, so that's going to help them out. But still, it's a 2-1 two to, two to one ratio for uh, in favor of the attackers. Yep. Hawks is on a sliver of health as well. He was hoping for that dock to get a little bit more health, but his dock got cornered quite quickly. As I said, though, he gets his head taken off by Quartz, and it's just down to the Jaeger, who is now currently under immense fire. But this does go down. Going for the knife, not able to hit him, <laughs> finishes over the pistol, and uh, whew, again, it's getting crazy out there. Yeah, and Doc, or sorry, Thermite was planning right there at the same time. That was another, say, surprising feature. Of course, he was as well protected as he could have been because jumping over, vaulting over the shield would have been a death sentence. And without vaulting, you know, Thermite was just out of reach, you know. Just like, you know, when you're a, a pawn in chess, you cannot eat right in front of him. It's basically the same thing. They're neck and neck in the face of each other, but couldn't get the kill. Yep. Uh, yeah, that shield just kind of being the uh, great divider, uh, as he would say. Um, but the goal of China. The great fall of China. Uh, so we will be going back to CCTV in chat room, and it does look like uh, Hypers is going to be switching from the IQ, getting off that roll, going over to Sledge. Uh, so, question for you, why do you think he's making this switch, and why is he making it now? To be honest, I can't, I can't tell you too much. Like, Sledge is only good at opening floors, right? 
if you want to yeah. open up the, 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 the ceiling, you should be playing a buck. Uh, I guess like these things are it doesn't matter too much. But Hypers, Hypers kind of tends to be a fragger. He's not, you know, utility or support. And Sledge tends to be a really, say, sub-sufficient operator. If you're last alive in a 1v2, 1v3 situation, Sledge is kind of on one of the few operators to have. He's not. He has a decent gun. Uh, by with his gadget, he's gonna have quite a nice possibility of roaming, of you know, flanking, plus the frag grenades. It's a frag heavy operator. Fits a uh, hyper style. However, it's not a rush operator. You're not talking about Ash. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about that. Okay. So uh, yeah, like I, my, my thought is uh, again, like you said, he's not a support role player. He's not that. And like you said, Sledge is, is a very like he's not a sub like, he's not, it's, yeah he's not a sub car but again it, for the role that hypers has to fill he'll do just fine so uh moving on to that though they did seem to open up the uh garage quite quickly uh there was no sort of reinforcement so they just look like they're going to kind of give up a little bit of control but that might be a bait into getting them to push in a little bit quicker and kind of take get a couple cheeky peeks on them. Has been dropped. But do we have somebody sitting on garage? Obviously, we, we both result and natural are going to be there. Uh, however, they're both more or less holding the same angle, so it's just like you know, having two guns doing the same thing. Resolve is going to move out, and natural for the time being is not going to be receiving any pressure. And as such, he's not of being of great use to his team. However, as soon as that reinforced wall is going to be open up, that's bound to change. Firemeister will fall under the fire of Quartz. But there is the Hawks, I believe, in the general area. Yeah, he was roaming in the bottom. He is now at the top of the staircase. And he can prove to be a great pain as soon as he decides to peek that angle. But in the meantime, Lackey oh. getting an unfortunate team from the Hypers. And Nitro still standing strong. Yeah, <laughs> and Firemeister talking about him being a rank star. Uh, he no but... longer is playing rank, rank star mode. That's what you just said. Oh in the chat. my goodness! Yeah. So he said good night to himself. So uh, <laughs> rank, star, rank star is gone now. And just like that, though, Doc uh, getting a little bit uh, trying to stay a little bit passive gets his head taken off. But Hawks is able to get the refrag onto Quartz. So it does seem to be down to a three v three at this point. And uh, nobody knows where, quite knows where the uh, Jaeger is. He's just going to stay down here. He's going to wait. He's wait, great. Ooh, his timing oh, is a bore. No. Oh. Patience is a virtue, but unfortunately, he wasn't able to. T timing is not one of his. And it does look <laughs> like. Not. It does look like he's just down to the Legion over here. And hey, he's not able to uh, land any of the shots. He can still, uh, he can still slow them down with these Legion mines. But he does have to play it a little bit safer than he is. Uh, with 45 seconds left, though, it is looking like uh, the plant will be going down. Legion will be pushing up as soon as he can, and the plant will be going down. It is a re retake situation at this point. So it's going to re rotate into red stairs. It's going to regroup. He hears him moving around. I'm not too sure where he's at exactly. And they still don't know exactly where he's at, but they have a nice cross angle here, so I don't think he's going to get very far. They do find him. He pushes it through hallway, and he gets taken out. And just like that, uh, Lackey went in the round for his team. I kind of feel like that Legion just put himself into the crossfire of the two remaining attackers. It's a hard. That's, that's a hard angle to really push, though. Like you have, you know Absolutely. that there's going to be somebody to your left, and you know there's going to be someone either in front of you or to your right. So, unless you have the reactions of some unhumanly spirit, there's no way you're getting somebody to your right and then immediately spinning to your left. Granted, it can happen in a perfect world, but yeah, chances you're are quite slim. Right. You're absolutely right. So, which is why it's kind of extra important to isolate both of your opponents. So maybe not peek the uh, thermite opening in the wall before you get the kill on the on the one that's actually inside and then you look at the one that's outside you know to create two individual 1v1s rather than creating a 1v2 uh, I, it doesn't mean that the round would have been won you know uh face face firefight is by virtue going to be you know the typical face check is going to be a 50 50 chance and then the other one is kind of just head glitching with the repel making himself an extremely small target but still if you're getting shot up from two different angles at the same time there's just no way in hell for you to win that gunfight. Exactly. But moving back downstairs, it does look like uh, it, it does look like uh, WGFR is what I'm going to call them now, just rather than going we get first rounded. Um, are going to try and hold the base. They did fairly decent last time. Uh, they did. Oh, I think the only uh, they they did win the first round, but unfortunately we're not uh, able to uh, secure the second round. But if they can keep up that momentum with what they did the first round, they were again aggressive but in the right ways. 
we might have something. And ooh, oh. might be doing a little trick I do on top uh, top hold. That looks like a top hold. Now for I don't know how common it is to use. Granted, Maestro is uh, not in this game. But Maestro, if you go up top, blow open a hole in the in that in that roof, and have one of your evil eyes, and oh my, he gets <laughs> Fire Meister gets taken out again. He said he wasn't doing the rank star stuff, but that was a rank star move. But again, there <laughs> that at least there, was at least there was a refrag, and that is the thermite gone. So that you just lost all your hatch access, and now you don't have to worry about that. Although you do have the Habana. But now Habana is torn. She has to, they, the push will have to come from. Nah, she she's not gonna use them for the hatches. Oh, okay. Oh no, she uses one. Okay, the idea is is they're gonna crawl so through they're there. They're gonna do the crawling you know, technique. Yeah, do the crawling technique. The actual opening is ra rarely, if ever, actually checked. So Hyper is kind of just crawling with minimal, you know, danger to himself. Uh, but then you're not gonna have like more Excaros than the defenders have impact tricks. Impact. Yeah. So Nick's team will be the only one that could do this. He's not under their hatch right now, so of course makes it quick. That is bound to open up. There you go. As I say this, they blow up. Hawks, however, running out at the very same time. Nobody was repelling at his angle. Uh, but he's going to be making his position known. And, you know, having uh, losing the attackers, making them guess as to where you are, is basically half of the game of the roaming game. Yeah, so the whole point of the roaming game is to waste as much time as possible. And then if you can get a couple kills here and there, that's just an extra bonus. So the plant is going down, and it's almost down, and we will be getting it right And just like that, we're actually a retake situation. C4 will go out, though. Doesn't manage to hit him. Just misses. Hits the top of that container. And, but Mozzie is able to take him. Uh, Hawks is able to take him out with that. And Valkyrie up top does manage to take out Twist. So very good retake situation. Just like that, that would happen really quick. If we get first rounded, bringing it back a little bit. They did manage to win this round. Uh, plant went down super fast though, so uh, I'm not too sure if they tried baiting him in, giving him a little bit of false hope, being able to push in so quickly. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Panda not able to hold up the BJ. Indeed. So. Uh, with that being said, we are now going to be finding ourselves to the sixth round. So, uh, halftime is approaching pretty quickly. And we've had this discussion uh, two games, probably two games ago for you last game. So, yep. we were talking about how this map uh, is, you know, on its natural side. It's going to be um, safe favoring the attack. Uh, right now, considering the bans, do you still think that is true with the current bans that we have? With the current bans, yes, because Maestro is not on the board. Right. Maestro and Echo, once if those two are still on the board, then it starts leaning closer to the defender side. But as you lost those two, yeah, 100%. Now it's 100% defender favored. And uh, it's really down to the plays you make as an attacker that decide if you're winning or losing. So considering that the defense is advantage, or the attack, sorry, is advantage, seeing that the 3-2 to scar line would be about as even as it gets uh, for these two teams here, right? Yeah, it could be. Uh, again, yes, this could be the like. If it goes four two, I'm not going to be surprised. But it's really down to the like how these teams do gunplay as well. Um, Absolutely. Um, yeah. So yes, a map can be attacker sided, meaning you know whenever out of ten games we watch, six of them are going to be won by attackers. But it doesn't necessarily mean that's every round. So this could be that magnet. That is it. Gonna, that it's going to lock down the whole garage. That will actually, yeah, you cannot throw a, uh, a grenade in that garage. Sorry, I hate catching you off, but that was just too amazing. Yeah, uh, keep on going. But no, as I was saying, it's really down to the, how these teams are going to play. And how they're playing, though, Panda has been doing very well. But uh, we get first rounded has been having these little strokes of, of, uh, of pure aggression that seem to work out and just like oh my god just like that now no, they are going to <laughs> speaking be speaking of pure panda. aggression right double speaking kill pure... triple, triple oh kill. that's oh, not gonna be a triple it, but does get finished off by hips and revolves is going to be now <laughs> in a uh, 1v4 situation uh and just like that though they are going to be super aggressive uh totally just about plant will be going down though and uh hawks will be at a disadvantage and just like that he gets Grenaded and shot in the head at simultaneously. Yeah, the initial entry was just way too aggressive. I kind of feel like um, holding the hard angle to the hard right and coming off of a firemeister was not the right choice. He went for the rank star play and was bested by you know a coordinated push. 
But yeah, he was the one that was actually supposed to hold that angle. And once he died, the League of Founded team had no backup plan, you know? They had nothing to kind of prevent the whole line, the whole team collapsing uh, together. And it's exactly what happened as soon as that one thing was up. Yeah, and so uh, again, I don't think they were... I, I knew there was going to be a bit of aggression. I didn't think it was going to be a full rush. Because um, <laughs> neither just... they died. To but be honest, neither did I. The thing is, too, it started off as like all their other pushes did. It didn't start off like an It just started off, they're like, oh, we're going to open this wall and then we're going to do what we usually do. But no, they opened the wall up, and as you see there, they immediately flicked in and just got, I almost got a. I can't remember who exactly who it was. Uh, I believe it was Quirks or no, Hypers. I, one of those two. Uh, who nearly just got triple nice. killed in like 10 seconds. So. Uh, Having that aggression now going up for two, it'll be a very interesting story now that they're switched onto the defense. Are they going to be an aggressive defensive team? Similar to what, uh, similar to what the Firemeister wanted to do, be a little bit of a rank star, a little bit of aggressive, or are these guys going to play it smart and try and like beat them on the angles? So it's, I'll be very interested to see if how Panda's going to be moving forward with how they uh, do their defense. So, uh, if I was to place a bet, I would say Hypers, yeah, Hypers cannot, can just not sit tight on the objective and wait for the push to come to him. But looking at, you know, Doc and the ACOG, it was clear to me that he was going to go for a spawn kill, spawn peek, and that did not happen. And he says goodnight, apparently, to himself in the chat as I we speak. Uh, Twist still being up, there is no statue in the composition. Uh, Zofia will have next to no difficulties to open up the ceiling above her head as she just clears up Lucky, who was roaming in the general area. So you might want to keep her one of your impact notes to open up that uh, ceiling. But no, Ooh. looking at the composition, there's no Hibana nor a Thermite in the attacker's side. Attacker so opening up the reinforced wall is not Bob even in their, attacker. you know, opportunities. And they didn't even plan on doing so. Panel only already in 1v4 situation. And he has next to no control on the objective. Should the Diffuser be planted, he could not prevent it uh, from actually going down currently in the current situation, position, all that good stuff. And he's just going to get pushed back ever so surely. Reloading just so happened to be his last mistake. So... <laughs> Panda, last round, did a huge rush, and uh, I guess we get first round and said, no, 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 we will do the rushing, and then they rushed in into the exact same play, but just in a different different area. Yeah, just uh, without a hard breacher, which makes it so much more uh, impressive. Yes, so uh, <laughs> we get first round and not taking the last round lightly, and <laughs> we know Absolutely that they play nice. aggressive, So, and we know this is attacker-sided map, so this... If this is the way things are going to go, granted, if Panda can read into it, they can easily counter it. But if they can't, yeah. if they don't get, uh, if that's not in their repertoire to to have the wherewithal to stop these pushes, uh, we get first rounded, could just rush all day and not be punished. So here's here's a, a fun little what if. So if uh, Panda were to use or to lean heavily on trap operators, uh, say, um, Ella. Legion, Frost, uh, Capcan, you know, the, the typical stuff. Yeah. If they were to lean so heavily on those type of operators, obviously we get first rounded, we'd be expecting them, and we'd be rushing way, way more, say, uh, slowly or even more methodically. So do you think, you know, putting a heavy emphasis on, on traps just to slow down the meta would help out uh, Panda? Or, you know, we get first rounded if they're just, like, trolling and sort of succeeding with a crazy and, you know, unpractical rush. If they were to actually go methodically about it, their chances of winning would just increase, or, you know, that's like the what if. I'm passing the yeah. question uh, now, to you. I, I, now, I believe what we, we get first rounded is a little... They're a very good team, but they're a very good troll team. They're, they're a very <laughs> good team to, uh, you know, just meme on people. As you see here, Firemeister doing Ash things. Going to be running in, going to be trying to get kills as fast as possible as she, he's going to be running into the Mozzie in about five seconds here. Um, so I think they're 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 probably doing it into the troll fashion, but they can turn on the serious notes when needed. And as you can see here, Firemeister saying goodnight to Quartz, and that's your Mozzie gone. So again, Firemeister is now the lead role. He's taking out the first frag. Yeah, they're doing exactly what we thought they were going to do. It's just a little bit slower now. Uh, 
that now that he's gotten the first frag, they don't have to worry about it. But at its core, it's really the same meta still. Yeah, so uh, they're not doing what they did last round, as in everybody pushed now. It's, I push in, I get first kill, and then you guys come in, we get in a position, and then they're probably going to rush again. So now it's just a waiting game for the next rush. And apparently the first person to be say, receiving the pressure, that's going to be Twist. He's holding the angle, but he does not have, you know, any uh, cover. He's just holding a static line. So, and you know, you know, trickery would be the end of him or even a poorly uh, timed push. And he kind of had to do it, you know, because the moto hatch was opened up behind him. So his backside was cut, was opened up. So he kind of wanted to clear or ease off the pressure, but he just ended up, you know, uh, jumping to a, into a death trap. Lackey wanting to push up, that's not going to work. Hyper sending his attention back towards Blue, but did that come from? Dirt level? I believe it did. So right now, both remaining de uh, defenders are kind of looking at the same angle. That's not too good. And yeah, uh, Hyper still not realizing that the pressure is actually coming from Dirt. So the defenders are spread really thin. The ratio is now 2 to 1. Actually, 4v2. Lackey still has control of the church, but Hyper's at his best has partial control off of Armory. However, he just got the frag on the barrel of the Diffuser. That's not going to be Diffuser lost for the attackers. Hawks being an OBJ means next to nothing now. Lackey will fall under the pressure, but Hyper's is going to hold on to Dirk Tunnel. And that will just be enough. He gets the kill. That's not going to be Diffuser recovered, but he will be refagged immediately. We get first round, thus winning round 8. Yeah, now there was a, a little bit of a kill here, as you can see here. Is that the Wind Bastion skin or no? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I'm not too familiar with skins, to be honest. So, I know uh, one of them is probably asking about that, asking if this is a Wind Bastion skin. I don't believe it is, but it is a well, skin. Wind I Bastion did... skins are authorized. They are or not? Uh, I do allow them. Like I said, I'm aiming at really the beginner, uh, or the entry level of competition. So I want to keep it as easy as possible, you know what I'm saying? I, obviously, you know, higher level players like these are going to know about, you know, the fact that these skins tend to blend uh, with the background. But, you know, I don't want to be uh, just banning the, the newbie for an obscure rule that he's maybe not going to be familiar with. And as such, I want to keep it as simple as possible. That's the reasoning behind it. I okay. do realize why and how it might be hurting the competition. But once again, we're not at a very high level uh, playing field. Or, I'm not aiming a really high level crowd. And as such, it's a trade-off I'm wanting to make. Okay. I know one of them was mentioning it, and uh, I did notice it a little bit, but I wasn't too sure. So, moving back downstairs, we do have the same, roughly the same setup uh, on both sides. So we have uh, Hawks uh, back on the Twitch. Same thing with Fire Rancer. Going to go to the good old Ash, and uh, not too worried about that. Uh, but we are tied at a four and four, which is very surprising. So I thought the uh, I thought Panda would have been. Uh, uh, struggling a little bit more moving over to defense, but they do seem to have turned it around a little bit better now. Absolutely. So, Firemaster still doing, you know, rank star Ash things, but, you know, less and less. He's actually droning before leaving the objective this time around. Uh, look at it, like, if he's not going to be playing the entry frag, you know, rushing role who might be maybe hawks maybe um nitro but hypers here with the round getting the kill on none, none other than valkyrie that is a huge kill uh hard breaching capability speaking now you only have resolve who doesn't have three x carriers but only two you know uh breaching charges he can open gra uh, dirt tunnel with little difficulties but he's really vulnerable to impact made tricks so if i was in his position i wouldn't even attempt to open up the uh, kitchen hatch and as such you might be looking at the potential moto and uh, dirt tunnel uh, opening which will make it really difficult for uh, we get first to take control of the uh, armory site assuming they want to go that route yes so oh and mozzie does manage to take one of the twitch drones not too sure if she wanted to sacrifice that and mozzie Runs away with that drone right <laughs> she away. She just shot her own drone, though. <laughs> okay, that was ironic. Uh, Lucky here apparently will be the first line of defense, but works with the natural side, getting another kill, thus enlarging the gap between the two teams. But Firemaster is going to put an end to that. It is now a 3v4 situation, but Thermite is still up. And is Thermite doing Thermite things? That's electrified. Oh, no. So, utility-wise, his options are really limited now. He does not even seem to be winning to use his actual gadget. He might be keeping it to open up the, uh, the church wall, which would have some merit to it, but you know, we're talking about a plan B at this point. 
Uh, at, no, Pulse here is just calling out everybody who's on steps as well. And he's just doing all the calls. Twist is able to take out Resolve. So that is Diffuser down. And it just made a tough situation even tougher. Firemeister will be getting picked up though. So he's going to be able to get back into the fight. But with very little help and very little time, things are not looking good for we get first rounded. It does look though that... Uh, they know it's roughly where people are. There is two over in Moto, and they do seem to be kind of stalling out a little bit. They're not too sure if they want to push down towards Moto or if they're going to do a little bit of rotate and try to go a little bit frag heavy and uh, try and pick up some extra kills here. However, any and all, uh, uh, you know, event of surprise is going to be lost, obviously, because Lucky is still there feeding Intel, and Firemeister with no real real plan user is going to have to play it uh, by deathmatch, and that was not going to work either. He's just going to fall down where two of his other teammates died. That's just going to be a, you know, a mass grave at this point. Yeah, that's all the bodies there just from this pulse sitting right there. And they absolutely planned on having pulse there because they reinforced the, the very first uh, wall panel making it impossible for the attackers to fire in, uh, in, but he also couldn't fire back. So that was really similar to, I would say, Gold Vault and Bank. Yeah, so they had just set it up so the angle was pretty much in that corner uh, and aiming at the door, but he was just blind firing. But obviously, as Pulse, you can do that. You can, you can just figure out where roughly they're going to be, put your sensor away, and just start shooting. Now, uh, what I don't know why is they didn't open up any of the floor in kitchen, which you could have then denied uh, Pulse being in that exact position and and therefore making it a little bit easier for you to push down the stairs. Granted, you lost a lot of bodies very quickly, but it is something to take into consideration when looking at how these plays happen. You're absolutely right. We had we, we went over how the hard vision plays was going to be really difficult if they went for the kitchen hatch, but that doesn't mean that you cannot open the uh, actual floor in kitchen. Granted, you know, it's not going to be too important if you can subsequently open the hatch and thus drop down, but that's not going to mean that you can absolutely not get one or two kills, or even, you know, like you said, flush pulse out, which would have been really helpful in the end. And they didn't even attempt to do so. Exactly. It does look like though. It does look like that they might be trying to go for a uh, little bit of a spawn peek. Uh, and try and throw them off yeah. a little bit. And, or oh, maybe no. they'll just open up the wall to have better song cues, which I would find yes. somewhat surprising as well. I don't know. Maybe it's just poor coordination, and I kind of doubt that happens as well, considering what level of play we're at. So all in all, I could really not tell you what and why this, this happened. But looking at Ash doing Ash things, Firemaster will not be rushing in through um, Strip Tease, Strip Club. Of strip Tease. Strip Tease. Yes, strip tees. Of, 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 Bomb located um, by attackers. I'm stupid. I haven't cast in English in a while, and I think this shows. Sorry, man. Uh, yeah, oh, strip club. And yeah, it seems like Hawks going to be first. Exactly. Oh my god, that was close. How? <laughs> just. just bro, you know the old adage? Pros don't fake. They don't fake anything. They don't fake putting up a wall. And just <laughs> like that, though, uh, that shut, out, shut down a lot. And uh, Quartz is able to take up Nitro after he immediately put up that wall and took a little bit of damage. They did manage to lose the Legion, though, Pipers. So that is a little bit of a frag roll that is gone on the defensive side. But <clears throat> moving forward now, uh, Habana and Thermite do have their role or their uh, work cut out for them now that they don't have uh, the Thatcher. So now they have to rethink of how they want to push this. Every way that they push is really going to be a, uh, a funnel type of situation. So they just got to figure out which way is the least uh, hazardous to any of them. So it apparently is going to be the wall. Uh, Zofia probably was able to destroy the electric wall from above. That's absolutely going to help. But you know, going back to that reinforced wall, it should have been reinforced between the, the preparation phase. Um, I don't really see why Quartz was reinforcing until the well, till he was actually getting shot at. Uh, but at the end of the day, he survived, so it, he shouldn't have been in that situation to begin with. Yep. Yeah, well, in all fairness, too, uh, he could have uh, died there too, and I'm not too sure why he didn't die. Uh, so you know, props to him for surviving, but also shame on uh, shame on uh, uh, we get first rounded for not it being able to finish him off. Able though to flick on to the uh, the thermite there, and also getting uh, down will be the bandit firemeister is able to take out twist. Another gunfight coming up here. He's literally down to a 3v1. 
Uh, Liquid has the bird come out for him, and the plant will be going down. Stuck over here in garage, gonna rotate in. One of them will be prone, not able to land the shots, but able to finish him off. And just like that, we do have we get first rounded, getting going up or going up one more point. Absolutely. So that is now going to be back to a five to five situation. Uh, no, actually, are we in match point? No, five five. Yeah. So match point situation is bound to happen this very round however i kind of expect an overtime situation to be honest uh i did expect an overtime situation uh, i think we probably might yeah. still get it um it's been fairly even so this is this is definitely going to be turned out to be a barn burner of a match because just when we think one team is starting to get the upper hand yeah, the other team confused. just flips the script and then totally. it's yeah, then all of a sudden sense. they just storm in, get win all the gunfights, and then we're on to the next round. So I, I think we still might see uh, overtime. But they do seem to be persevering to only go for this easy CTV take, although it hasn't worked twice now. Right, yeah, we haven't seen Bedroom played even once. It's really just been a back and forth between Church and CCTV now that I'm looking at the rounds history. Like, I didn't expect a bar defense, but I just realized we've never been to uh, the Bedroom side. Now, um, it's an interesting thing too, because once you lose a, a, a particular bomb site a couple of times, you generally want to switch things up. Only reason being, being is it does take a toll on how the team is going to be playing, right? Um, if you start losing these really these, these simpler things where you're like no 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 we got to do this we're going to do this again we're going to do this again just do this instead and it doesn't work you're kind of just banging your head against the wall and you're losing the opportunity that you could be you know going on another site and potentially winning that one and then you're kind of right, like yeah. you're going you're, rather than worrying about a, a strategy that's not working you try something else that might work and therefore you get the wins uh, kind of going off topic, but keeping it, you know, parallel to what you're thinking. All right, to what you're actually saying. Uh, one thing that I, that I don't really like about Clubhouse too much is that bar is virtually useless as a bomb site. You know, if you take, for example, a uh, coastline, every bomb site is viable in its own way. Of course, you won't, don't want to be going, uh, say, penthouse too often. It is clearly the lesser out of the four, but it's still not, and by a long shot, as worthless as bar is. So it's, it kind of severely limits the defender's options. Uh, and as such, yeah, right, you haven't been uh, to bedroom once. But you know, should have bar been actually viable? Maybe we might have seen it once or twice. Yeah, now it, bar is a tricky one just because of how they now laid it out. Absolutely. And I don't blame I don't blame them for not picking it, but at the no, same no, time, no. yeah, no, we no, should no. have hundred percent seen bedroom at least once by now, just because of these other strategies don't seem to be working as much as we can see now. Panda is kind of worked themselves into a rut, and and we get first rounded has managed to get themselves back. As I say, that hypers does take out resolve, uh, and that does take out the thermite. So that is a uh, hard breach capability gone, or at least half of your hard breach capability is gone. Um, so making it uh, giving the defensive side a lot more breathing room to uh, move around now. And you know they're already knocking on the door. You get to over a minute remaining. That is looking really good. Hypers with the round up being really aggressive, inflicting a lot of damage on Hawks. Not gonna be killed, but not receiving any damage in return. So even though he didn't drag out anybody, it was still a flat out all around success for his run out. And Lackey getting the kill. You know that's exactly what Hypers run out uh, serve. Creating a soft target for his teammates to pick up. Here, he's going to be finding himself into a situation which he cannot win. That is going to be a flank opened up on the objective. And now Twist has to be somewhat cautious. But he gets a refrag pretty quickly. Another kill coming off of Nitro. Now a 2v2 situation. Uh, the offense kind of has control over A, but it's not enough for them to actually safely plant. Thatcher had a good one in his foot, and that's gonna be, uh, open his flank to a rush. He will be refracted immediately by him by Ash. However, now a one v one situation between Quirk and Firemeister. That is going to be a kill or a far fight for the match point situation. These are being planted, and that is likely to go down. The Nitro Sun will be tossed. Will that get the kill? It does no. not. Firemeister planting and rushing out. He holds the angle, but that's not enough. We get first rounded, winning that round by the skin of their teeth. Yes, yeah, so that was a very close one. And, uh, was, oh wait, it was a trade. It was, oh, it was a trade. Therefore, we get first round and actually win this. Wow. Well, 
Yeah, so they can win this, but oh, because they had the plant down. Yeah, yeah. So if, I mean, if it's a trade for the very last, if it's a one v one, it's a trade. The defense ends up winning, basically, because the offense is no longer capable of like attacking bombs. Yeah, I guess but... that's the logic behind it. But now the diffuser was planted, so the logic should be attackers are no longer there to attack the diffuser. Yeah, so basically, yeah, the, def the diffuser is down. Uh, the one defender that could do it is dead, uh, but so is the attacker. So round's over, nobody can do it, but uh, that would go to the round of the attackers because obviously the bombs are getting diffused and nobody can diffuse the bomb or diffuse the break the, break the diffuser. Uh, exactly what happened. What a round. To be honest, what a round. That was an incredible round. Uh, so going on to match point, uh, we get first round. It has a chance to win this. And as we, uh, as he thought, not going to bedroom. We're going to go downstairs. Um, Why? Well, yeah, not surprised. Yeah, Panda is going to be. At least they're switching it up now, though. They're not doing the same thing, which is a good, good thing. Uh, but can they uh, win it out? Because last time uh, we get first rounded, decided to rush this. It kind of went their way, uh, and I have a feeling we get first rounded might do that again. Especially when it's a match point, they might want to try and get it done and over with as soon as possible. So yeah, well, let's just keep an eye on Fire Marshal. If somebody's gonna be rushing, that's gonna be him, and maybe his team is gonna be fall. Oh, oh that's no. not good. Why? I was not really looking at the defenders. What happened? Uh, he was opening up the top wall. Oh. That's the kind of stuff that's not supposed to happen when you're you say. And now we know. Now something. for sure they're gonna be rushing. If they weren't rushing before, they probably rushing now. Uh, well, Hawk is. Oh, he knows there's a Roma hover. That Roma's gonna be hypers. So apparently Hypers has been spotted, and he, well, he's Attacker already isolated. So assuming he gets, you know, surrounded by we get first rounded uh, in a proper fashion, he might be done for, leaving us in a, with a potential three v five. But he's not gonna be, you know, uh, just dumb or none the wiser. However, I really expected him to realize that Hugs was gonna be in the area. It's not the case. It's not a three v five for the objective itself. But the crazy aggressive rush that has. Yeah, so as uh, as we uh, progress through the round, uh, roof or the uh, floorboards are getting broken open, uh, getting a few more sight lines, and uh, X Kairos will be going off to open up hatch. Things are not looking good for Panda, and uh, with a minute 40 left, there's still lots of time for the attackers to just slowly pick away at these defenders. And uh, as we say this too, the uh, dirt tunnel will be opened up as well. He was trying but, to use an electric logic out of K tricks that did not work too much, but Lucky will have a better success on his front. He gets a kill on Nitro. Granted, it's a bit too late to prevent the hatch from being open, but you know, a kill is still a kill. And that is kind of good. I feel like it's going to make it so that the attackers no longer want to jump down through the hatch. I kind of felt like they were rotating out, but they were maybe just, you know, repositioning to open up the actual floor next to the hatch, which in turn for, uh, forced Lucky out. So for the time being, you know. Uh, there would be a way for the attackers to drop down and not immediately die. As Panda only gets a frag on Nixie. Let's see if Firemeister has something to say about it. Yep, Firemeister's gonna push in. I'm gonna pre-fire the, the uh, punched out holes just to make sure that anybody peeking them will be taken out. But unfortunately for him, nobody is there. I'm gonna push in there. He's gonna try and push a Legion, which is incredibly difficult, especially with uh, how many Legion mines he does have at his disposal. Another one does go out, but Legion is going to peek it, and he does manage to get a ton of damage onto the Fire onto Firemeister uh, with no prevail. But Firemeister does fin manage to finish him off, but Lackey with the quick refrag. It's down to a 2v2 at this point. So plant does start to go down, but he gets taken out, or Hawks does manage to take out Twist. So does go Attackers down to a 1v2. And Plant going down, it's retake situation, and Twist like that. We get first rounded, manages to walk away with it. A little less easy than we thought. They did, Panda did start to come back a little bit, but eking it out was, uh, we get first rounded and good job on them. Congratulations oh, good job for the on win. Them indeed. <clears throat> so that is pretty much going to be it for us tonight. Um, I will try to set up a, an interview with the players. However, I don't know how what their levels in English, their proficiency in English looks like. So, well, I'll I'm let you. Exactly I'll sure. let you do the interview. You can do it in French. I'm, I'll sit right. out and I'll listen. Um, if I am correct, however, I believe they won first place last week and they declined the interview, so it might happen again. I still okay. will, you know, attend. 
Um, yeah. Uh, we get some time to do an interview. Uh, if I, if I, uh, I'll take like some on Discord because they're just like. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's please not insult each other, however. Wow, the votes were split 50-50, however. Both teams, apparently coming off of the audience, had just as much chance to win uh, as the other. Yep. Oh, so, so split down the middle, eh? Yeah, exactly. All right. So we got first rounded. They won this to 7-5. 